Hello YouTube, what is up? It's GhostWad57 here, and today I'm going to be doing a gameplay and commentary of Gratuitous Space Battle for Linux. Now, before I get started, I'd like to mention that I am running this on Debian Testing, also known as Wheezy, depending on your preferences. And I got this game from the Humble Indie Bundle. It runs fine. I haven't had any problems. Now, uh, this is the menu as you can see you got battle which as it says lets you jump right into a battle see so like from a list of battles All right, let's go ahead and click on that one and here you can click on what mission you want to do although you have to do the previous one in order to unlock it so I, as it says right here so I gotta do the tutorial first it's my first time playing the game so <laughs> uh, okay and as you, the first level gives you a nice little tutorial it says I get to deploy my ships and it says this, this part over here is the ship designs alright okay and I gotta drag my ship onto the battleground Oh, okay, and it says I have a budget. I believe it's right here. I just gotta keep dragging ships on there until I reach my budget. Okay, I see. I have to properly uh, lay, have a proper layout. Hmm. Let's see here. I'm not. I'm not too good at this. Let's see. Alright, it says my budget has been reached. Click on that ship. Whoa! Alright, and once I click on a ship, this little window pops up and gives me the details about it. Uh, Alright, and I click on one of the modules down here to show more info about the stuff that's equipped on my ship. Wow, this is actually very in-depth. Order of selected ships. Okay, and apparently I can assign... Like, I can make my attack fighters, which are my little ships, uh... It's like the priority for each individual other type of ship. Like, if I want to tell my smaller ships to attack a big ship, I would click on them and put high priority on them. That's pretty interesting. This is actually really in-depth. I didn't think it'd be this in-depth. Also, add orders, which I guess... Yeah, add orders. Uh, concentrate fire on ships selected as targets by your fellow ships. Prevents a ship from retreating automatically if its weapons are destroyed. Alright, so I can see now. Wow. Uh, save deployment, so I guess I can save this. So in case I load it later. Alright. I actually don't want to fight right now. I want to reset reset my layout. Ah, screw it. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so now we're actually in the game. I have saw some gameplay of this, so I believe I just sit back and the game does all the work for me. But the whole point of the game is you have to set up your ships... Uh, properly upgrade them all that because you want to like have your ships ships set up properly so that way they can win because if I just put a whole bunch of like small ships here they're just gonna get destroyed in a second and then they're gonna flank me and all that so it's really just strategy so much information up here I can admit defeat I don't think I'm ready for that yet uh, this shows me the life of my ships. I can hide that, that's nice. Clicking on a ship gives me all its details. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it's telling me how well everything's performing in battle. It's actually really in-depth. I didn't think it'd be like this. I just thought you would just, like... I don't know. It's this. Select a ship for follow cam. Oh, that's cool. I can actually just follow it. Here, I'll go grid action. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll keep grid on. Ah, it looks kind of rough actually. Oh, okay, that just took a screenshot. 
What's this do? Okay, and that shows me. Uh, that's actually really useful. It shows me uh, what's enemies and what's friendly. So yeah, right now we just gotta sort of sit back and let the battle play out. Hopefully, the layout of my ships will lead us to victory. And I, got, I think I could speed up over here. Yeah, there we go. So if you just don't want to sit back and wait for all the ships to get destroyed, you could just speed the battle up right here. That's nice. It's a good thing that a game like this has that, or else you, you'd be sitting here for 30 minutes. Alright, not that they destroy that ship. Yep, victory. Alright, battle is over. Battles are not fought to the last life form, but decided once the outcome is clear. If you are the victor, you will be awarded honor for your victory, which is spent at fleet headquarters. So yeah, each every time I win I get honor, which I can which is basically the currency of this game, I guess. When you win battles, you earn honor depending on how large and costly a feat you needed in order to secure victory. Here at the fleet headquarters, you can trade in that honor for access to restricted specialist equipment to be used in your ship designs from point onwards. All right, so these are just so after I win a game, I get to purchase upgrades for my ship and I can actually assign them to it. Uh, ship hulls, so I can take what type of ship design I want. Races, Empire, Rebels, Alliance, Empire, and then these are the actual parts of the modules. I don't have enough for anything. Alright, main menu. Alright, let's go to ship design. This is actually where I, this is where I actually get to change my ship. Uh, and I gotta load different types of ships. I'm gonna open the cruiser here and then I can change all the stuff by dragging it over here to unequip it and then dragging something over here to equip it. I can assign armor, engines, other which is just like hulls and generators and stuff and I can also assign weapons. Hmm. This is really in-depth. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with this stuff. <laughs> I don't want to mess with anything. Let's go ahead and jump into another battle. Uh, I got Defending Cyrus. Or Sirius. I don't know. Alright. Ooh, I have a good bit more money. Uh, but yeah, as you put more ships down, it costs more honor so I'll actually get the more ships I have the less money I'll get for winning because I spent more on the battle which is a pretty pretty nice system I think All right, so let's get the big ships out there then let's get the fighters where are their fighters at there's right there so let's put ours right there just to combat them uh, this frigid hmm Actually, no, let's not do that one. Uh, hmm, hoping that'll be enough, but let's just put a few... No, let's not put a fighter. Let's put a frigid. Yeah, let's put another one. Yeah, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and change the difficulty down here. I don't know why I would do that. This game seems hard enough. There, let's go ahead and start the battle. Alright, so hopefully we'll win this battle. Can't zoom out anymore. I can zoom in, but I can't zoom out anymore. Pretty cool though, I can zoom in, see all the like bullets and stuff being fired. That's cool. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff going on right now. I would talk about the story, but this game doesn't really have one. You're just sort of going from space battle to space battle. There's no real storyline in this game. I just feel like I should mention that. Hmm. Yeah, I think I've made a pretty good, uh... Pretty, I think I got a pretty good setup. You can see, uh... my overall life over here and their overall life. Like, as I destroy ships, their life drops, and as they destroy my ships my life drops, so it's pretty neat to have that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the screen. 
It's a lot of lasers and stuff being fired. Let's uh, speed this up a little bit. Two times speed. I believe it's telling me the damage it's doing too right there. The hole, the, keep, the stuff that keeps popping up. I believe it's telling, telling me what damage uh, I'm inflicting and where. Yeah, this is going great so far. For me, at least. So yeah, this would be a this would be a great game for Star Trek fans because I know Star Trek fans are are really into these sort of uh, spaceship battle games. I know they would love this kind of game. I did not suspect this game to be like this at all. I suspected it to be more of a uh, just more actually like I just click drag my ships and tell them to go to here and shoot them like an RTS kind of. My ships seem to be putting in work, although I only have two big ones left. Oh, I hope I don't lose this. Hmm. Can't tell him to go over there. At least, if I can, I don't know how. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, my ship's... Oh, no, I only got one ship left. Oh, I think I'm going to lose this one. Oh, no. How much more life do I have? My shields are still up, so that's good. So, you can see here, these are my shields, I believe. Yep, this is my shields. This is my... Actually, this is my life. Stability. Strength. So, yeah, there's a lot of stats to take in. See here, this is all my generators and my beam lasers and all stuff and all that. Oh man! Oh, his shields are down though. See how he doesn't have a blue thing around his uh, ship like mine does. So that means his shields are down. So it's only a matter of time before I destroy it. Oh, I didn't even notice my ship was over there. <laughs> how long has that thing been there? Jesus. All right, yeah, we got this. We got this. I got two big ships, and uh, they only got one. We got this. The name of these ships are pretty interesting. Stick and sticks and stones, and then there's my pro focus. <laughs> I don't even know. There's all these small ships too. Yeah, the ship doesn't have much time until it's destroyed. Alright, victory! I got 3,980 honor. Of course, I could buy an upgrade. Hmm, what should I buy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Not very good at these sort of games. Anyway, uh, that ends... This is the end of my little gameplay commentary of Great Tutuous, Great Tutuous Space Battle, however you pronounce that word. <laughs> Space Battle. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like it. And if you have any feedback, make sure to leave it in the comments because I'm always looking for feedback. Uh, I would just like to thank all the people who left feedback for my Shank 2 video. Uh, I know you guys didn't have to, but still, you know, I, I, I appreciate it very much. Anyway, Ghost Squad 57, signing out.